everyone and welcome back to my art channel. So today I wanted to do this little quick uh, demo and review on uh, these new pastels that have just been released on the market and they're made by uh, the Jack Richardson Company. And the way I found out about these is uh, in my August issue of the Pastel Journal, which you see here, uh, which I got probably back in June or so. I opened it up and there on the first page is a big beautiful color ad showing this new line of 500 colors uh, made by Richardson and Company, their hand rolled pastel line uh, that is supposedly in an, this new innovative size uh, that comes in all these different colors and you can buy them in sets, all kinds of different sets of you know landscape and night scene and garden and but they also have tons of sets and values so you can get like the orange value set or the earth color value set um, and that's very similar to the way Unison packages their pastel sets um, and Richardson also owns the Unison company so this is probably kind of like a extension of that uh, of that same idea and, but of course I saw this picture and I just had to try them uh, and they're very new they're very difficult to find uh, and as of yet, the only company I can find that sells them is uh, Dakota Art Pastels. Uh, they're located in Washington State in the United States. And uh, they're a great company to order from. Uh, they just carry all kinds of extensive, like everything you could ever need to do, soft pastels. Uh, and so, so far, they're the only ones that carry these new Richeson pastels. Uh, I can't, couldn't find them at Blick, I couldn't find them at Jerry's, and um, so these are brand new just on the market, maybe a couple months. Uh, and Dakota, like I said, is a great company to order from. They, This is the stuff they sent with the pastel set, uh, and they have a softness chart that compares the softness of all the different brands and pastels that they carry and everything. Uh, but anyway, let's get on to looking at the pastels themselves. Uh, so I went ahead and I ordered the 80 landscape set and because I paint a lot of landscapes in pastel I thought that was a great way to go and uh, like I said they sell lots of different sets of course but this is the one that I chose and they are on sale right now Dakota because they're new uh, so this sets normally like uh, 199 something like that I got it for 160 something uh, so if you want to head on over to Dakota and take a look at them, I will put the link in the description for all of this. Anyway, all, of course, all these beautiful colors when pastel sets are new, they're just gorgeous. Uh, and these are a great size. Um, and just to compare, this is the Sennelier half stick. Uh, and if you look at uh, these, they're a little bit thicker, just slightly longer uh, than the Sennelier half sticks. And, you know, a lot of pastel artists, when they first get their sets of, you know, normal size pastels, which are like this long, or something, they always, almost always break them in half and use half of the stick and then save the other half for later. And, of course, I've done that as well. But I like this new size because they're kind of ready to paint with. And one of the things that they've advertised these new Jack Richardson pastels as being good for is uh, painting on plein air with them. Uh, so they're kind of already in that perfect travel plein air size. Um, and so this landscape set looks really beautiful. Lots of great colors. So I thought that I would just experiment with a few of the colors. To see how they compare to other pastels that I've used. Uh, and these, these have a really nice texture. them they're pretty soft they seem to blend pretty easily uh, and a great way to actually test their pigment strength is to compare them to the Sennelier so let's get some this is a piece of Canson medians touch paper which is has a slightly rough sanded surface to it so I'll put down a little bit of white and a little bit of the orange now this is a Sennelier pastel so I want to compare this by blending blending with the white and seeing how it compares so 
And this white I'm using is also a Sennelier half stick pastel. So I'll choose a similar color here and we'll see how it compares. So well, it holds up very well, actually. Um, the Richeson pastels seem to be pretty heavily pigmented. Um, I would say they're pretty close to, if not equal to, the Sennelier, which is great because that's a nice, Sennelier is a good brand. And they seem to be very, very soft and smooth. And so far what I'm seeing here is the texture between the darks and the light is very consistent which is also great. That's a great thing because some, some pastel sets, the darks tend to be scratchy. Uh, now this one's a little harder, uh, but it is going down pretty smoothly. Um, so yeah, I really like what I'm seeing here. Nice, nice, uh, nice, it's a great set. Nice, smooth texture, very richly pigmented. Um, they seem to layer pretty well. This one's even layering over top the Sennelier pretty well. So, uh, yeah, so I would say these are very good, very good quality pastels. I, I really like, I like the texture. I like the pigmentation. Uh, they have a really huge color range because like I showed you in the ad, it's got 500 colors. So I'll be eager to incorporate some of these into my pastel palette and use them in a painting so um yeah so if you want to check these out maybe buy a set for yourself uh these are the new richeson hand rolled pastels and they're available as far as i know right now at dakota i'm sure that will change in the future uh, and they'll probably become available at more uh other art stores as well uh, but I hope that you found this review interesting and enjoyable, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or... When you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!